Chatty Chatters. That's some Manor Lords music, man. I'm getting excited for that. We got a lot of city builders coming up this week, by the way. We're playing some Farthest Frontier now this morning. Good morning on this Saturday morning. And we're going to be playing uh, New Cycle a little bit later today. That game that plays a little bit like Foundation and Zone of World Apart. A little bit of Anno and uh, some Banished in there with elements of Frostpunk, which... I'm seeing more and more games trying to take a lot of pieces from Frostpunk and incorporate them into something different. I like that because Frostpunk felt so damn brutal and like hard and harsh and made you make hard decisions. I I'd never seen a game like Banished before uh, that kind of was more about insulating homes and preparing food and stuff. And Frostpunk took that to just like a whole different level. But welcome back. Good to see you all here for some Farthest Frontier this morning. Going to fire it up and jump into our old city. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I guess, the last day or whatever before Christmas for many of you who celebrate on the 24th. And then Christmas Day on the 25th on Monday. Can you believe it? And, uh, boy, not long now till the big O end of the year. Yeah. The time between, like, now and the end of the year is so weird. It's like, I don't really, of all the time of the year where you do stuff, I, I don't want to do anything at all. Like, I don't want to go shopping. I don't want to go... I don't want to go out. Like a after the presents are open, it's just like, all right, I just want to have enough food to like survive, <laughs> survive to the end of the year because it's a survival game, and just not go anywhere, do anything. Which you know, fair enough. It's, it's kind of like that one time you want to stay indoors and maybe play all your your new fangled video games and whatnot. So anyway, welcome back to Farthest Frontier, y'all, and let's jump in. Hibernate like a bear. You're right. Yeah, you're exactly right. Exactly. Yeah, hibernate mode. Yeah, even more than Thanksgiving. I guess after Thanksgiving it's exciting because then all the Christmas deals are on and the decorations. And sometimes it's nice just to go to, to the mall or whatever and walk around. And, um, you know, there, there's like really good smells with all the roasted almonds and the Cinnabon and all that. And where I live, it's like you, malls are still very much a thing. And they're very nice to walk around in the winter months. And uh, oh, it's just nice to go browse. But after Christmas, it's just like, no. Nope. I can remember many Christmases playing like Driver 2 and um, playing uh, uh, Medal of Honor, uh, Pacific Assault or whatever it was, or Ri Rising Sun or something like that. Anyway, speaking of rising, welcome back to the rising star of the city of Raptoria. We got ourselves a lot of buildings here, and we're getting even better. I can't believe it, man. I say every playthrough is our best playthrough, but it, it's true. I've been saying that every episode in this one, just because we keep getting like good things happening. But our town hall is ready to upgrade to Tier 4. We finally get to Tier 4. Last time we played, the city was held for ransom by an invasion, a raid that was about to happen. And then... Um, what else happened? I think we also... Well, and then we had to pay, like, money for this upgrade, too. So we were we were down. We were down a lot of money. But we're back. And, uh, I mean, you know, we had a lot of stuff, so it was kind of easy to snap back. So, right. Once the town hall upgrades, we then can start upgrading all these homes, and they'll kind of upgrade automatically. So I'm, I'm just going to hold for a while, because they're going to use a lot of these materials uh, to upgrade. And we... I think we built a new... Yeah firewood cutter down here and we'll probably get that number up a little bit some of those businesses are going to take that firewood so anyway welcome back to you all thank you very much for tuning in for more farthest frontier don't forget to smash the like button don't forget uh, don't forget to subscribe and say hi if you're new here yo unholy thank you very much for the uh, seven months as a raptor hatchling jibber jabber that's right jibber jabber oh desirability problem over here uh We can move that house over there. Maybe that'll be a little better. Temporary, temporary home. Yeah, it's a good Saturday for sure. Yeah, floofy hair. Yeah, for sure. True. Where's Where's the blueberry army? It's a good point. And where are the blueberries here in our settlement? We've got like some blueberries here. But I haven't even bothered to make a farm because I really haven't found too many others. Mostly Hawthorns. Yeah. Mm, we have another wolf den up there. 
All right, so we'll go deal with the wolf den a little bit later. Maybe when we build an army. And actually, now we're, we've are we got the longest time before we get attacked again, because I think in in the summer before this autumn, we uh, paid off the, ar the enemy army, so... Things are looking good. Man, I really kind of think I want to start getting into mods for this game, too. But the devs are working on mod support. They just want to work on their part of the game first. All right, overfishing is definitely a thing. We should shut these down. Let those fish repopulate. Three new villagers born. Man, it was tough to get up to... Uh, it was tough to get up to that, that population 400, but we're at 417, so we like plateaued for a while, like at 375, like it was 375, then 380, then like 377, and then it bounced back between there and then crept up to like 490, and then we got it. Up, oh, well, now back to, down to 416. Sounds like our people are upgrading the town hall. Let's flatten terrain here. Now this needs eight more bricks. We do have those bricks. There we go. All right, I guess that was the last thing being delivered was eight more. I thought they were just sitting there and not in the right spot. I was like, oh no, is our city hall not going to be built? But yeah, this game is pretty. The seasonal transitions are ridiculous. I mean, the autumn in this game is like, Manor Lord look, looks impressive and um, will certainly be a much more open game than this one, but this, this winter or autumn season is just ridiculous. There is our big O city hall, tier four. We did it, y'all. We can't upgrade anymore. Tier 5 eventually will be coming to the game, but now we can start building all those things we haven't built in the game before, like book binders and uh, the, what is it, the trade guild or the guild hall or whatever it is. So, And now we're going to wait for all these homes to upgrade, and man, they're going to be upgrading for a while because we're going to need a lot of bricks, a lot of bricks. But all these homes upgrading are good for a couple reasons. One, more space for all of our people to live, and two, they'll uh, pay more taxes, and three... They'll also buy more luxury goods like spice, and spice is really nice. It really gives us a lot of money. So when Big Money Masuk pulls up again, chat, can we build deep mines now? I think so, yeah, at tier, at tier 4, yeah. We'll start with the, um, the surface mines first. The only problem about deep mines is they're meant to be a lot slower. But the more surface deposits of gold and whatnot can be mined a lot more efficiently. So... That's uh, Popichi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now the next order of business is really just to wait for a lot of these homes to upgrade. They're going to take a lot of our materials. And you think that'd be a bad thing, which it kind of is, but uh, all the tax money that we'll get in return is going to be really good. So, bricks. Bricks are going to be bad. <laughs> wow, we're like all out of money. We get 20 bucks. I don't even think we could buy... We couldn't even go to a Wendy's. In like 1989, and buy enough nugs. City looks good. Well, thank you. Yeah, a mortal villager mod. Oh, you mean where they'll never die? Oof. Well, at least of old age. I don't know. I, I wonder. I I've seen some mods that add a lot of cool stuff you can build that are decorative and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'd love to see the community for this game go crazy, like in Banished, where People are making like um, really gorgeous 
Uh, like retaining walls and things like that. Ma imagine if trains eventually came into the game. Damn, that'd be crazy. I'd love to see like a tier 5, 6. Yeah, the banished mods were really good. Well, what I still want to see from this game before mods and stuff is like river uh, traffic and river boats and the ability to trade via... Uh, like a, a coast, like give me a coastal map, give me a river map, give me a river power, let me do water wheels, that kind of thing. Do you know if there'll be any games like Traveler's Rest but Bed and Breakfast? Yeah, there's um, there's Crossroads Inn, there's Traveler's Rest, and there's Tavern Master. Those are good ones. Uh, Traveler's Rest is multiplayer. I don't think the other ones are, though. I don't think. Oh, wow. Oh, all the money is gone. Hey, do we have our first tier 4 house? Oh, we do, right there. Boom! There she is. Damn, the houses in this game look so good. It's like the devs... It's like they somehow captured a house from real life and popped it in. That's so ridiculously good looking. Like me. Smoky, too. Like me. <laughs> These houses are on angles. Love the little details here. Farm plots. Uh, some basins and barrels. Will I play Anno in the new year? Um, well, I did have plans to play with She Fox over the New Year's, but uh, she um, she's gonna bring her PC to like visit her family and stuff, and she didn't want to do it this year, uh, which is totally okay. I was gonna play some different games, so I I'm not sure what we'll do um, over the next couple weeks. Anna would have been great, but I want to play that multiplayer. So maybe if Jerry happens to be free, I, I want to play with some of my friends who I played Anna with before. But we shall see. TBD. More home upgrades. And look at that. Our money went from like 62 to 74 in terms of uh, weekly or monthly income. Seasonal. Any news from Jerry? Oh, just busy. You know, Colt disappeared for a while too, and then comes back. You know, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of everybody in our community ends up moving, starting new jobs. It takes a little while to get into the flow, and then they come right back. Alex has literally flown across the world a few times and moved. Colt, Jerry, Bradford, Pinto, Mister International himself. You know. Lumberjack and Dirty are busy with their families and um, careers and things like that. So, yeah, everybody gets uh, in and out of the swing of things. They're not true gamers, but they're working on it. All right, a villager has been cured. Good. 418. Good. So we just need bricks to come in. I think we... I, Last time we played, I built, like, uh, multiple... I mean, l previous times we played, I built multiple brick kilns. But they may have actually increased the number... Some They probably increased the number of bricks you get or how frequently they're made. That kind of thing. Not true gamers. They can't be trusted. Now they're fine. What I really appreciate about everybody... And R Red's a little more available, too. R Red's got a really sweet schedule but it locks him out of like the day stuff but at least he's always free pretty much every night but the goof the goof troop takes it takes all kinds you got to have people who are good at fps rts strategy different ways of doing things it make it makes things more interesting it's like with food isn't this house happy 62 percent desirability well, you know what? We're going to end up building another theater over here, so they'll stop complaining soon enough. <laughs> I 
A true gamer is always ready. Yeah, you never know when there'll be an update for a game. You gotta be ready. Even if you don't own the game. You just gotta be ready to play the update and buy it. Speaking of buying, guys, have you uh, gotten anything good on the Steam sale? Anybody get anything good? I'm gonna check and see real quick how much Farthest Frontier is on Steam. This game is on sale for $25. $25. I think it's good enough for 20 bucks now, but at $25, you know there's more content coming, especially next summer. I think they're doing the big release next, like, August. So between now and the next, like, six months, they're going to add um, the final tier, I think, tier five, and a lot more stuff. And the catapults and the cavalry and maybe more stuff. I hope there's more to do with horses than just to keep them for the military. I really want there to be... Uh, something like that but if we get to build catapults i do hope we get to build like a siege be, actually that'd be very interesting to be able to build like a, a a siege workshop and then be able to like put a siege engine onto a wagon and then ship it out like as a, a thing that people can buy that'd be really cool more traders would be great i would love to see more traders more wares too would be insane in this game It'll probably be more late game stuff like what we saw with paper and the, the book house and stuff. Fallout New Vegas is two fifty. You know, I, uh, I, I was going to buy Assassin's Creed Black Flag and start to play that before Skull and Bones comes out. I want, I want to play that. I've never, I've never really played it. I played it, but I've never really played it. And especially not on the channel. There's some really good classics from, like, the last ten years that I just never got through. Luckily, we were able to play, like, uh, I think we played on PlayStation Plus a few years ago. You know, the whole Nathan Drake collection. You know, for Uncharted. I think at least one through three at the time. I don't know. Those games certainly deserve, uh, like, a whole playthrough on the channel. Tomb Raider, all good. Maybe we'll go back and play Gollum. Actually, Gollum's not that bad compared to some of the other games that came out. Like the day before. Yeah, Uncharted was very good. Age of Empires 4 is 20 bucks. Oh, good. Go for that one. If Age of Empires 4 is $20 for the base game, no way. There's There's so much cool little campaigns and stuff there. I love that. Love all the historical campaigns. We beat the um, the new DLC campaign, which was a lot of fun. Predators are attacking. Oh, wolves again. Can we get you two to turn around and take that wolf down? Nice. We're going to have to go down there and deal with that wolf den. Yo, Mautka, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome to the channel as a member. Enjoy your holiday emotes, folks, by the way. They will be around for a few more days. Nah, they'll be around past the end of the year, but... Get them while the getting is good. What? Why did that person stop? What the hell? Alright, it's too dangerous. We're going to have to go up there and clear that out. Where's our hunters? Yeah, Green Eyes in the chat, show our new members some love. The member train is rolling. First member of the day. Hopefully many more. Wow, not bad, man. There's just a few more, uh, few more houses to upgrade, and then we're good. 
Yo, a baptism. Thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. All right. Love it. Uh, Anno 1800 base games 15 on Steam for sure. Yep, definitely a must have. Now, where's our hunters? I'm dealing with this damn wolf den. We're getting rid of it. Eviction notice. Ooh, lots of iron ore over here, too. <gasps> They're guarding the blueberry bushes. I knew it. Man, you know what I just had like a craving to play is Transport Fever 2. There we go. No more wolves, good. Uh, Greasy Orange, uh, 10 months as a Raptor Plus. Thank you very much for your membership as well. Wow, the member milestones, new members. Damn, guys, thank you very much. And happy holidays to you all. I know many of you will be busy. I might not see a lot of you between now and the end of the year or whatever. So hope you had a great year, and I hope the next year is even better. Um, ups and downs are always a thing, but, uh, you know, more ups than downs is why we're all here. So much love to you all. And thank you very much for joining me and all my friends through the whole year. You wonder if Anna will work on your i3? It's a good question. I guess you can go to a website called um, Will It Run It? Or Can I Run It? Something like that. And then you can type in pretty much like your basic PC stats and it'll tell you like recommended settings. So there is like being able to play, and then there's like being able to play with like high frames and stuff. I got an itch to play City Skylines 2 again. I, I just, you know, despite all that game's issues, it is an incredible amount of fun to build those intersections and like do roundabouts and look at traffic flow and stuff. Oh, wow, four more animals born. We gotta be making an incredible amount of fondue. Oh, what? Oh, oh, well. Oh, yeah, okay. It's spring, so we ate a lot of it. Man, the milk, though. We gotta make some more cheese makers. How are we doing on cheese? They made 420. Dank, bruh. They made 420 cheese last year. Scorv is here. What's up, bro? Good look at our trades. Yo, Vlad, thanks for another six months, dude, as a raptor hatchling. Is the goof troop getting any coal in their stockings? No. Last night, uh, we played a game called uh, Six Days in Fallujah, and I'll be honest, I was getting really frustrated with Bradford. He was, not, he was not communicating with the group. I don't know if he was busy with like something going on in the background or whatever, but then at a certain point in the game, everybody kind of just... Uh, uh, some, something happened where everyone just fell into place and things just snapped in, lock, uh, snapped in, locked in, and just it was awesome. We went from just like, can't, can't even do nothing, to finished the last mission on the first try. And, you know, me and Red were holding positions outside. Bradford and Colt were doing the, the tough job of being inside. I cleared, like, the second the second floor in the roof. Red held outside. We got lucky. We got lucky. I got lost in a sandstorm. It was crazy. So, um, yeah. If those boys are getting cold, it's only to have a barbecue. Outstanding stream. It was outstanding. We can buy some more meat. Oh, we could buy, uh, we could, oh he's, he's selling soap. Could buy some more meat. But I think we need cash, cash to finish houses. Let's do that. We'll just send all the money here so we can have money to operate and finish a few homes. Got to make sure we have money to pay the doctors and the people at the theaters. <laughs> Maybe he was eating pizza. I have no idea, but... 
<clears throat> we played a game where you really got to communicate, and he wasn't. And then he did, and then it just went perfect. So. Buford did a good job. Do I see another trader coming in? Nope. Need more bricks, though. Scorv doesn't sell any of that. <clears throat> yeah, barbecue. Barbecue. Alright, so it looks like we can only have a few fishing docks here. Which crops feed the cows? Um, they can eat vegetables or any sort of grain. I'm pretty sure. So if you, if you look here just above my head, you'll see that they can eat root vegetables, so turnips and carrots. And then they can eat grain, which the game, I think, considers to be buckwheat and regular wheat. And is there rye in the game? I don't remember. So uh, they can eat wheat rye or buckwheat I think I do have a instructional video on a lot of that stuff too so exclamation point FF tutorials if you want to see that and uh, there's stuff on how to build a military how to buy the cows how to feed the cows how to do crop rotation and, uh, yeah, right now a lot of our crops are going towards feeding the, feeding those cows. But then that's giving us cheese. And that's good. Seven thousand grain. Damn. Nope. There comes another trader. That's Big Money Masook. We're going to need cash to buy... bricks I don't know if we'll have enough we'll see it'll just take a little bit of time for our uh, thing to upgrade though for our brick maker to make the bricks I think we'll get the houses done first and then when we're uh, when those upgrades stop we'll try to upgrade other things like for example our temple and if we upgrade the temple, we get one more relic in there, and we get bonus, um... I think it'll increase desirability, too, so it'll be a huge desirability boost for the whole city, which is like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Big money's not buying nothing. Well, some beer. He's buying a lot of cheese. He's not even selling bricks, so wow, what a, what a crazy year. No spice, no bricks. He's not buying anything, wow. Big money is just not bringing the big money. Oh, more houses upgrading, though. All right. And we can upgrade these. I'm not going to do that just yet, though. We need a lot more material. <laughs> you you want to ball out big money like big money, Masuk? Well... You know, we can't we can't all have everything like the Masuk, but um, what tier are we in? We're finally on the top tier. We're at tier four. And buildings are upgrading to tier four too. So we got everything in the game unlocked now. So we can look at yep. Now we need more tier four decorations too. But more importantly all the tier four uh, processing buildings are done or unlocked and I eventually will have to do a work camp where we cut down more trees
I'm going to, uh, I've been wanting to make a labor camp, but I've just been cutting trees down on the mountain. But eventually we will make a labor camp that will grow trees and then, you know, basically just a tree farm. So that's cool. So I guess we'll save up stuff for next year. Luxury goods last longer. I think bricks are being made in batches of 10. How do they make... How many do they make at a time? Oh, they're making five at a time. Another trader coming in. I think that's Beldar. <coughs> I think Beldar has bricks. What the, whoa, what's going on here? What the hell? Why is all that beer sitting there? Is storage too full? That's very strange. Um, they should be able to store beer at these types of buildings, but... Build another storage for now. Hmm. That's strange. Yeah, it's beer everywhere. Unless, like, a bear broke in. Oh, that's probably what happened. This building's slightly damaged. A, <laughs> a beer bear broke in and tried to steal everything. We're down to the bare bones. Hey, ten people want to move in. Come on in. Population up to 425. Beautiful. We should move these towers inside the wall, but on the corners. Let's do this. And there indeed is Beldar. Okay, so... What you selling, Beldar? There's the bricks. will get gobbled up right away. Let's transfer all of our cash and just buy more. He'll buy sand, I guess. Houses upgrading on their own reminds you of Civ City Rome. Oh, really? Um, I think Ban... No, Banish, you had to order them. But uh, Anno, I think will... No, Anno, you have to do that uh, uh, manually as well. Good point. Brick making takes a long time. What's up, Cheesy? Okay, we're just going to keep buying bricks.
How during 13, each of these houses take 10. And then I want to build a new theater. Songs of Six? Yeah, I'll probably play that again one day. How come you start streaming so early for the US? Um, 9 a.m.? Is that early? I'd feel like 6 a.m. would be like early. What's our eco server name? Uh, Red has all the information on his channel. So if you go to exclamation point red in the chat, his channel, I think in his description for any of his eco streams, has all the info on like server name and password. And then you can subscribe to him too. Wow, we went through all those bricks. Come on, goobers, transfer the money. Otherwise, I'll have to sell Beldar shoes for a cheap price. I don't want to do that. Bricks are more important. Six PM in Lithuania. Yeah, I mean, you know, now's a good time because um, the American audience is awake. The European audience is probably getting finished with work. Anytime's a good time to stream, really. It's cool. Stream anytime, you'll get somebody to watch. Somebody's awake. Wow, we went to a hundred. We got a hundo, y'all. Hundred bucks now. There, we solved our brick problem for a while. Actually, with 200 bricks, we can upgrade the theater. Actually, I, I think we should upgrade what we got before we build more. In the temple, we just need cash, so. Couple good years of trade, and we should be able to get a, a bunch of money and bricks. Wow, and now, pop, look at I didn't even really build a single new home, and now we got, like, almost 50 more homes, or, like, spaces. Wow. <laughs> wow. All that house upgrading is great. It's nice to keep the town small, because if the bigger and bigger you have to build the city, the harder it is to defend. It was one of the things that was tough about the game, about building walls, where it's just, you have to keep expanding in all directions, and it's like, well, it's harder and harder to defend, because you have more wall to defend. Anna 2205. I might own it, but I've never put it on the channel, and I don't think I played it. Not yet. What are the red things on the buildings? Uh, this one is somebody's at the hospital. Uh, this, ban uh, this house was abandoned due to low desirability, but we're working on that. Um, this is some food spoiled, which just happens. There's no refrigeration. There's rats here at this building, but a rat catcher is probably working on that. Lots of little notices for things. Nothing too critical right now. Nothing too frantic going on. now for free workers 33 all right well 32 now oh, there's deer up here I don't want to cut down trees for their habitat then
Hmm. Oh yeah, we got plenty of trees to cut down. We're fine. Five months of food going into late autumn year 54. Seventy six homes available now. We do it on iron mining. Six fifty five ingots are at seventy one. Heavy tools four. Weapons at eleven. Fifty three crossbow. We can chill on that. Sixty nine. Nice amount of cheese. Um, oh, and actually what we could do is upgrade these. Instead of building another foundry, we can just upgrade what we got. But again, cash and bricks. This tier, it's just money and bricks. Money and bricks. Is there gravestones? Yeah, right over here. And, um, there's also a new crypt that we can build. We haven't gotten around to that, but, uh, let's level out the graveyards. We'll do this technique and see how that works. Technique. The graveyards used to not be able to be moved. They can now, but I kind of make it a rule where it's like once I put it down, I'm not moving it. It's like that on <laughs> Thanksgiving when I sit on the couch. Like once I've got my pumpkin pie ready to go. I'm locked in. An earthquake or a tornado couldn't move me from that spot. Hmm. What's up, Emerald? A lot of notifications. Predators. Oh, boy. Oh, another damn bear. Oh, and of course, we don't have our tower over here because I'm moving it. I was moving the tower to the inside. They must have killed the person. It was moving the damn tower. Damn bears. A momentary lapse in security and they attack. That tower is super important. I'll build another one here because the raiders sometimes do come over. Oh, they're going to attack our cows. I can't let that happen. What? There. Damn bear. Damn bears. Hello from Malaysia. Well, thanks for watching. Welcome. Wow, now our monthly money is up to 130. Okay, well. Oh, it's nice. The town hall up there on the... Winter is so gorgeous in this game with the buildings all getting that warm glow of candlelight from the windows. Makes such a huge difference. You know, we played a game the other day called Last Train Home. 
that features a lot of um, Russian style buildings from like the well, like 1900s and before and those even like little cabins and dachas and factories and mills and stuff are so beautiful the maps in that game the devs did a really good job of making those look beautiful beautiful Chris P. Bacon with 37 big O months is a ra <laughs> Raptor Ultimate. Santa Chad wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. Stone Cold says, Hell yeah, bruh. And uh, uh, is still uh, still burrowing. Doc Brown Bear is yelling at Marty as being chased by a fishing bear. Oh, yeah, that's our fish fishing uh, emote for sure. Uh, what are my top five games for this year? Uh, Dredge, Dave the Diver. I really liked City Skylines too. I actually posted an image of the top five games, like statistically, that I played. So, like a lot of it was City Skylines one as well. But in terms of games that came out this year, it would definitely be, um, yeah, Dredge, Dave the Diver, City Skylines two, which, despite its issues, I really enjoyed and wanted to play more. Um, what else do we like a lot, Chad? I, the Harry Potter game was pretty cool. It was so early in the year, though, I kind of forgot about it. Um, I wouldn't put that on the list, but it was pretty close. Yeah, Gollum and the Day Before, yeah. Two great games, amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised they don't do a bundle deal for $500. I'll buy. Oh, yeah, Lego Fortnite, yep. Lego Fortnite was pretty damn cool. Yeah, I played a lot of Starfield, yep. I had a lot of issues with Starfield. Starfield just kind of kept crashing for me all the time. Lies of P was great, yeah. I only did like one stream on it, but that game was cool. I was like, wow, I can't wait to watch someone else play this good. I should give myself credit, though. Playing those games a lot more would, uh, I'd be quite good at them. I know a lot of people like Bloodborne, you know, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Lies of P. Twenty-one now, good. Bricks are looking good. Ah, I guess we're waiting for trades for the next year now. Oh, they flatten that out all nice. Oh, that's looking better. A little more flat. Yeah, Sengoku needs a lot more work, but it'll be great. Yeah, I love the map update for Medieval Dynasty, but... I guess this game, when Farthest Frontier releases next year, I guess that could be a game of the year as well, but I I don't know how I feel about like early access games that are in early access for a while and then get one, a 1.0. They certainly are great, though. Like, ready or not, that, uh, you know, the SWAT simulator was good before, but, like, after it released recently... It's never been better. Like, it's it's miles ahead of where it was. I mean, it, it was good, but it's, like, really, really, really good now. Really good. And I'm sure they'll keep updating it with events that add, like, new missions and other modifiers that are cool. Diablo 4? Oh, yeah, that was my first time playing a Diablo game. It was cool, but I wanted to run through the whole thing and just didn't get a chance. Good, though. Mm. Yeah, Manor Lords next year. But that will enter Early Access as well, so... I guess we'll have to do two categories, like Game of the Year and Early Access Game of the Year. <laughs> and then Release Game of the Year. Because if I say to somebody, hey man, Farthest Frontier was my Game of the Year, and it's like, didn't that come out in 2022? You know, like, I'll have to, like, there's a lot of clarification. We have to explain things. All right, here comes the spring. And how many people might enter the workforce? We've got 337 fit to work, 71% educated. Um, 
55 adolescents. There's 55 that might eventually become adults. Yeah, Alien Dark Descent. Oh, that was very good tension. Yep. Aliens was very good. Yep. Starship Troopers was really fun. Man, I had to a tons of fun with every game we played this year. Like, even if the game wasn't as good as the game could have been, the time that we've had with friends and stuff is, is really, really good. Yeah, Homeworld 3 is on the way. True. A lot of things to look forward to. Okay. You gave Game of the Year to Dave the Diver. Dude, I I've done two Dave the Diver streams saying that we would be, like, focusing on trying to get to the dredge content. Hadn't even got to it. <laughs> like, I, I, we know it's there. We kind of maybe possibly saw some of it because maybe it's mixed into some of the current stuff in Dave the Diver. I don't think so, but... Yeah, I think we'll have to play Dave the Diver on like Christmas Eve again. Maybe maybe we'll play it tomorrow morning or night. You're finally about to start Baldur's Gate three this evening. Now I'm on holiday. Can't wait. Good news. Enjoy. I hope you really enjoy. I will play Baldur's Gate three, but maybe it'll be it'll be in time. It'll be in time. I still got to keep my promises to you, Chad, about uh, playing Red Dead Redemption, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, and more bear-themed games, which is pretty much every game, so I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we've seen it in every game. What, what were we playing the other day There was even bears? Uh, something. I forget what it was. There's like a bear in the background. I was like, what? Even here? Will I finish Bear and Breakfast? Yeah, I want to go back to that too. I don't know, man. I gotta... I'm gonna have to have a serious, like, um... Yeah, I don't know. I would like to play more games that have a beginning and an end. Because honestly, we could play Farthest Frontier forever. Like, we could... We could fill up this map and get a thousand population or something, and then just be like, okay, board next, and then go build somewhere else. So we gotta. We're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, new cycle video will go up, uh, up today. Videos on New Cycle are on the channel. Live streams on New Cycle are on the channel. And we will be putting up our first video on New Cycle today. It'll be part of a sponsored deal. New Cycle... Appar so, what, from what I've been told, the developers enjoyed my... <laughs> There's a YouTube short. Tan, I don't know if you're in the chat and can link that. But we were playing New Cycle. And there is an AI character that you can literally chat with, like ChatGPT. Like, you can type in, like, hey, dude, how you doing? He'll be like, hey, bro, I'm doing good. How are you? You know, that kind of thing. And uh, I was trolling him so hard, like, asking him about, like, if he eats Top Ramen and stuff and whatever. I had so much fun with that, with messing with the AI that they programmed into the game to chat with you. Like, literally, when a trader comes, you can type to them and be like, you know... Um, Hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to trade X number of wood for X number of stone or whatever. And he's like, cool. You know, that kind of thing. Love that. I thought that was amazing. But I was trolling him and laughing so hard that the devs really enjoy, enjoyed me enjoying it. And so they wanted me to do like a, a six-part series on New Cycles. So New Cycles is a game that kind of looks like this. It plays a little bit like Anno and Farthest Frontier and whatnot. It'll, it'll come up after this stream. Uh, a little less fire, though, in the game. But, uh, yeah, check it out. It's going to be great. And maybe we'll start doing some live streams on New Cycle as well. Maybe I'll stream New Cycle tomorrow, but I don't want to step on my video's toes for today. So enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Yep. But anyway, anytime you guys are wondering what's next on the channel, exclamation point schedule. Link's also down below in the description. Or uh, you can just 
you know, if you'd like to check the channel too, go right ahead. Wait. Settlement inventory, we have zero cows. What the hell? Wait, what? But we have four cows that were born. Well, that's weird. We have 24 cows. Oh, we can upgrade those barns too. Wait a minute. Maybe we should do that. Oh yeah, we're going to upgrade the barns. We can upgrade one. We'll upgrade that one. I need more planks, though. We're going to need to uh, buy the thing. Uh, which Dave the Diver package do I buy? Well, if you just want Dave the Diver, just get Dave the Diver. But there is a bundle deal that comes with Dave the Diver and Dredge. And I, I loved both games tremendously. I think there's a lot more playtime in Dave the Diver, but Dredge has a lot of replayability. Like, you can start over and do everything all over again. Okay, I need to move some of our industries around. I really need to figure out... We have an industry hill up here. So maybe we'll start moving the sawmill and stuff down there. It's about time we start doubling down on our sawmills and stuff like that. We gotta start making things look nice. So let's clear out this area. And we're going to have to make a whole industry area here. So we're going to move... We're probably going to move storage down here to this corner and heavily defend it. And then we're going to move all the remaining industry up there. Hmm. Oh, this dude will buy uh, crossbows. I will put 25 there, I guess. We don't need that many. That's weird, though, that it says settlement inventory zero. Because if, if they were waiting here at the trading center, it, it would it should say twenty four zero, and then eight is what he has. Hmm. Strange. Well, I didn't get a chance to sell Masuk the cheese. Someone will buy the cheese. I think we want more cash this year. So we'll work on selling, selling, selling. See if we can get the uh, the temple upgraded too. Oh yeah, okay. Then the barn's getting upgraded. So we're going to have more space for cows. Oh, hi there. Maybe an opportunity for iron. She's buying a lot of clothes. Nice. 85 clothes. Back to school. Shopping. Doing a little back to school shop for the kids. Let's do eight heavy tools just in case Big Money Masuk shows up. She'll buy some canned dolls. 85. Okay, yeah, we're good. And 31 graduated. Congratulations to those graduates. Yay. Building not produce. Oh. Lack of beer, maybe? Storage is empty. Ah, they must be doing a beer run. We got some beer. So now, uh, once we get to tier 4, that's when I really like to make the city look a lot better, too. It does take a lot of pre planning to get to this point, but, you know. There's always more to do. Oh, good. We moved the... Moving the, the lumber mill. Good. Lumber. J. 
Jack Samurai. Also, I don't mind putting in non-pollutive industries with residential. So like pottery. Not the pot I think the pottery actually is. Is that bad? That doesn't seem to affect it. But uh, the candle shop, bookmaker, those types of things don't really affect. So we can do some you know, light industry here. We'll call it quiet industry. And the little Wainwright over there. Oh, actually, we got two. Good. <laughs> What's up, Gallon? Welcome back, dude. There's no bike shed to smoke uh, behind, so it's not a true school experience. I guess not. You know, they're still working on the game. <laughs> still doing updates. All right, midsummer. There's still a chance for big money, Masuk. Also, we want to buy. Um, we want to start buying uh, s spices. We want to buy uh, spice. And with that, big money will uh, give us a lot of money to. Well, a lot of stuff that people will want to buy at the shops, and that's going to be big money. So we want to put all of our storage around the trade depot. For obvious reasons, to make it shorter for the um, workers to have to go there. Move all the forgers and stuff out there. Nice. Is this the best game for you right now? Um, Farthest Frontier, City Skylines, and City Skylines 2 like all had 4 per According to my Steam thing, a exclamation point Instagram... And or check the community tab on the channel. You can see my little um, my little like Steam report on what I played the most. Apparently, four percent of my playtime was in each of these games. Like four percent, four percent, four percent. So, pretty cool. Um, and I played over three hundred and eighty-eight different games this year, at least on Steam. Which means that some of those games weren't on Steam. So I probably played about four hundred different games this year. So that's more than <laughs> that's more than like one new game a day, or at least one different game a day big money masuk he's here big money just pulled up well and of course he's selling bricks for a lot of money i bet you would no spices this year big money bruh Well, maybe next year. Hopefully with this big map that we have, we can also find some more uh, shrines or whatever. Because I want to put more stuff in the temple. Alright, well I guess we'll work to upgrade the temple then and see if we can take advantage of another thing. Let's upgrade the temple. I think this will be our first look at the Tier 2 Temple. I haven't yet been able to build it in this game before. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Same to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's, whatever you celebrate, even if you don't. Hope you all have uh, some lovely good food. Treat yourself to something nice. Do something cool. Or just relax. Maybe one of the most underrated things to do is just to do... Not necessarily nothing, but just do something for you. Alright, with increased desirabilities, these will upgrade. So we're going to upgrade the temple first, because that has a huge reach. So hopefully that'll bring up desirability across the board. Some of these houses... Oh, they're only just... 
short on food types. Okay. That's not a problem. What do we got for food? Meat. Smoked fish. Smoked meat. Bread. Bread's a little low. Ah, we do have a lot more people in the town now, so... That's to be expected. Could build another bakery. Could have a little overlappage. That's fine. One, two, three bakeries over here. How much flour do we have? We must have like a thousand flour. 738, yeah. You have a hard time picking a game to invest time into? Too many choices? Yeah, that's why it might be better to play like... Well, you can play... If you got like 15 or 20 minutes, you could fire up uh, Modern Warfare 3 and uh, play through the campaign a couple times. Before you're... Uh, you know, like you probably... Probably play it before you go get your hair cut or something, you know. Call ahead, say, hey, I'll be there in five minutes, play through the Call of Duty campaign, then head out. Got him. Yep, War Tales is on the channel, yep. Good game. Got a pirate themed DLC coming soon. Have I ever played Fleet Command? They uh, Star Trek Fleet Command keeps like emailing me and they want me to do like a sponsored deal, but it's too much of a mobile game. That's just one type of game I, I just can't get behind. When I when I hear mobile game, I just think uh, gambling scam. Like no matter what. Even if you can also play Fleet Command on PC, but I don't know. Whenever whenever something has too much grind where you can bypass it with money, it's like, nah, I'm good. Like, I want gameplay, not obstacle for pay. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you can have this Romulan ship for $50,000 where you can put in eight lifetimes. Um, I th I'm going to go ahead and go with no for both. By the way, they've contacted me a few times, and I, I guess I'd be willing to take a look at it because it's on PC, but part of me is just like, yeah, that's the one of the things I just don't want to do. Like, I could do, you know, every every month I get about two requests from Raid Shadow Legends to advertise Raid Shadow Legends. And, um, yeah, I, I, just, I just leave that money on the table because I'm like, I've done Raid, like, maybe two times just because it was funny. Because everybody was doing it. I was just like, dude, we should all get on this. Everybody's doing Raid Shadow Legends. No one must think this is a good game. Like, this can't be. Like, this is a meme at this point. But, yeah. Sea of Thieves more? Yeah, I want to play Sea of Thieves more. I'd like to play more with the people I haven't. So, like, Alex, She Fox, and, like, Colts? I've mostly played with Bradford, Lumberjack. No, I haven't played with Lumberjack or Dirty Much. I think I played mostly with Bradford, Red, and... Hmm... Somebody else. Any other game comparable to Fleet Command? I honestly don't know. I didn't play too much Fleet Command, but what I've seen of it, it's just like, yeah. No. Not for me. I also want to play some more uh, restaurant management games. Traveler's Rest is a really good one for that. But maybe we'll play Pumping Simulator 2 soon. Alright, barns being upgraded. Wow, we got over a thousand bucks. The temple's being upgraded. Yeah, I was shocked. I, dude, if you if you told me, Raptor, this year you're going to be playing... In the year of 2023, you're going to be playing Fortnite. I would have been like, no. No. But I only played it because Lego. Lego. Bro, I want to play more Lego games on the channel. They're so damn good. I loved playing Brick Tales and... Um, I, for, I forget the name of them. 
There's there's one where like you you have a kooky grandpa. I forget the na the hell the name of that one is. I loved it. And then there was Brick Tales like last year. I don't know. Anytime Lego does a game, I'm just not as into the Lego like Harry Potter, Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones. Like I'm not as into those. I like it when Lego does does something completely original, but and I thought Lego Fortnite, even though it was Fortnite, it was they played nothing like it. It's Lego Survival, that's what they should call it. Had nothing to do nothing to do with Fortnite. What's up, Rough Jay? Oh, good, another bakery. Bakery. More bakeries are needed. Lego Spaceship should be a game. Imagine a game that would be like a uh, Kerbal Space Program, but Lego. Yeah. I feel like there's enough Lego parts to make a Kerbal Space Program game out of it. And not only just where you build the spaceships or this, like anything to go into space, but imagine also like designing the facility. That'd be great. Good educational stuff for kids, too. Mm-hmm. All right, another year in the bag. Temple is. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna need to do another sawmill, but I have not really been building any new industry yet because I do want to get our labor number up a little bit more. And we should probably go get some more stone somewhere. A stone Stanley production. Oh oh. Oh, we got ourselves a new excavation site. Let's go. All right. So we will have a new relic. Hold on a second. Have I started gold mining? Uh, not yet. We have tons of gold around, but I've been making so much money from selling uh, candles and pottery that I kind of... I didn't really need too much cash. I'm leaving those rocks alone. I want them to look pretty. Pretty, 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 yeah. What if there's bears? You know there's bears. There's even bears in space. Oh, and of course, there's a damn wolf den next to it. I should have known. I think one hunter could probably go take them out. I feel like we also are overdue for a military. Although I need to get a little bit more cash, really. Like, the plus 71 is good, but I want more than that. Where is our hunting area? There. Yeah, if we do gold mines, the only problem with that is I'm going to need eight workers for that, and I think I'm going to need to build another one of these. The um, I'd rather build another foundry and then do, um, like, have a foundry A just do steel and foundry B do um, gold. More gold is needed. Who would win? A, I'm just going to say a billion space bears or the sun? Well, I mean, technically, in the game we played recently, Dyson Sphere Program, you can literally just build a wall around the sun, or a sun, and just be like, stop it. And let, like, oh, like you can literally contain a sun. But can we contain bears? I mean, think about it. Oh my god. 
You know, I got access to that new Planet Zoo, uh, I think it's called the Eurasia Pack, and it's got bears and stuff in it. I kind of want to make a, we should make a sandbox. <laughs> I'd love to do this with, like, Delay Designer. Team up with her and make, like, a bear, a bear zoo. Just an all-bear-themed high-security prison and gift shop. She's very busy, though. But uh, if you want to see how to make some beautiful zoos, man, that that lady knows everything about zoos. Oh, wow, this looks cool, Raptor. How does the gameplay feel? That's fun. It's a very good game. It takes a very long time to play, so if you like how long a game of Anno 1800 or Civ or maybe, well, I was going to say Hearts of Iron, but that could be quick depending on what you do. But, uh, yeah, game good, me like. I could go for a good cowboy, zombie, pirate, space, bear game. Does that exist yet? Hmm. You know, that's interesting. There's a lot of space games, but not many of them feel like cowboys. But there are pirates. Well, I guess kind of elite dangerous, maybe. Well, may maybe uh, when Star Trucker comes out, maybe that'll feel like a cowboy game. We'll see. Uh oh, what we got? Is that our hunter? Yep. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh damn, that person's gonna have to take out like three, three more wolves. She's not gonna survive that. Can she hit the spawn without them knowing? Well, I don't think... No, she ain't going to be able to do it. Oh. Those are hunting cabins. Okay. Try to take out that damn uh, wolf den and then try to. Hey, look! This thing's almost done. 150 more wood just to be delivered. And we'll see if we can get some really good relics that might help us. Something like uh, upgrading the towers to like laser, laser towers. You want to make a restaurant sim that actually teaches you to cook? <clears throat> I think there's one called like ASMR cooking sim or something coming out soon. There are a few that um, do get pretty um, detailed into it. Uh, but the one of the most important things for cooking, though, is just to learn a lot of things about a knife. How to cube, dice, peel. Knife work is very important. Microwave popcorn is all you need to learn about cooking? What? Yeah, how to control your, your heat. Yep, yeah, it's important. Now, I still have trouble, like, dicing and slicing onions, but I'm, I'm getting much better. I'm almost happy with it. Maybe, maybe I do 
uh, quite well with cooking when I don't think about it. Maybe we'll do some cooking streams next to your channel. Set up some uh, cameras in the kitchen and show you some stuff I like to make. And then everyone can complain. Like, Alright guys, this is an egg. I'm going to add it to the... Dude, you overcooked it. <laughs> it's like, I haven't even put it in the damn... I haven't put it in the, I haven't put it in the pan yet. You know how people are. I'm going to make a burger for me. I like mine uh, medium rare. Dude, you, you, you overcooked it. I'm making this for me. All right, let's excavate from that site now. The hot dish stream. Yeah, we can't really do anything to put it in the oven. An oven's not really exciting. Unless we start with something that you put in the oven, then got to work on something. Else. Like, yeah, I don't like baked potato. Like, you know, okay, we put the potato in the oven first, and then, you know, that takes like an hour or whatever, so we'll do something else. All right, another spring. Spring has sprung. You'd watch that? Yeah. My cooking's basic, but it's very good. It's, uh, I mean, you know, best of both worlds. Don't have to have 45 ingredients and 1,800 spices just to make a good steak and potato or vegetable. You yeah, know, all good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Cooking is my lifeblood. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Cooking's a good thing. You you learn that processes are more important than recipes. Yeah, you might be right about that. Recipes can be easily tweaked, but um, yeah, like I mentioned about like. Um, you know, cutting and using knives and all that stuff, that's a whole different thing. But it's one of those things where you're always learning new techniques. Oh, th is this another? Oh, 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 what the hell? There's two. Oh my god. There was two next to each other. I was clicking on this one. I didn't even know there was one right here. We got two ruins. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Wow. All right. It's like a site of an old city right there. Let's go. Jeez, all right. Those could be two really good um, relics. Wow. Wow. That's like double, like, That's like winning the lottery twice on the same day. After a successful date with Amy Jo Johnson, the pink Power Ranger. Amy, if you're watching this stream, DMs are wide open for you. You are my hero. That's a badass lady. You enjoy watching cooking YouTubers as well? Yeah, I, I don't mind like the... I, I like the pros, like uh, Binging with Babish and all the people who are associated with him who are just like geniuses. On the other hand, there's like... Um, if you guys know uh, LGR, Lazy Game Reviews, he also has a channel where he cooks very rarely or talks about food. I forget what... I think it's just called LGR Foods. Every once in a while, we'll drop a video and it's just nice... It's nice to see how other people kind of just do a food review and or prepare food. And of course, there's always the classic review bra. Is this another one? There is a third. And I, did, I, I didn't even know that one was there, even though I marked it for excavation. There are three excavation sites on this right side. That is ridiculous. There was three here. I guess I forgot about it because it's literally buried in the trees. Wow. Three... Excavation sites. That is insane. Wow. That is ridiculous. Wow. That's in that's insane. There was there's three relics there. We can Ooh, and the temple's ready. Look at that. Nice. Now we can pop a new one in and get another person here. And that probably greatly increased the uh, desirability. Hopefully. Uh, root of the first tree. What does that do? Trees grow 15% faster and orchards produce 25% more fruit. Oh, damn. That's a good one to have. Let's pop that one in so all the trees regrow quick. 
even though we don't want that to be the case over here. But that's actually, if we need to cut down trees, we can just keep cutting from here. Tasting history is fun. YouTuber who takes old recipes from other centuries and makes them. Oh, that's great. Another one, uh, if you haven't heard of um, the, uh, Townsend's, John Townsend does a great uh, channel on, uh, well, there's a lot of things unrelated to cooking, like blacksmithing and making old pens and things and how they used to make ink and whatnot, but um, love to hear about new channels like that. Uh, YouTube's algorithm is really good for recommending a lot of stuff, but sometimes you just Sometimes a channel, unless it gets over like 100,000, 200,000, sometimes you can't even find them. So to find a channel at like, you know, 10, 20,000 subs and then follow it till it gets to about like, you know, 100. Really cool to follow that uh, development. A bear. <sighs> Two villagers died to the bear? Oh, old age. Okay. And bear. I'm assuming. <laughs> Score, if you look at a little light on the money there, pro. I'm not going to buy any relics until we figure out what we've got under our territory. So I guess that's what makes it really nice in this game to do the large map, because that's more territory to then... Oh god, the bear's right there. He's attacking the market. Damn that bear. Yeah, whatever. He'll probably chase somebody and then they'll run to a tower and then they'll get he'll he'll get popped. All right, um, so I wanted to divert some of our workforce to logging and make more planks, but right now we've got about 30 people working on excavation. So we're going to keep that going. Are those blueberries? No, Hawthorne. Dude can cook is decent, yeah. I, um, I think there was a, there was a... Con I might be misremembering this, but I think there's a Canadian chef by the name of... His name's Maddie Matson, And he would do a show... Where he would just cook all sorts of... I don't know, the guy was just cool. He's just a cool Canadian dude. Who was just, he's just funny. He's very charismatic. The Canadians are experts on, like, family-friendly, like, dad jokes and just being, just being goofy. Without, like, trying, you know? It's just fun. But there was also another good show called uh, F, That's Delicious, you know. Foxtrot Uniform, Charlie Kilo. And, um... I forget the guy's name, but also was, was a good show, too. Uh, very entertaining to watch people be, uh... Oh, more, sometimes more interesting about the person, the host, than it is the food. On the other hand, there's a million channels that are just like... Quiet guy goes to Japanese vending machine, orders some sort of an in instant meal or whatever, and makes it, and then doesn't say a word. Maybe there'll be some text on screen, and that's about it. Let's do 200. Maybe 250? Oh yeah, the guard tower relic. Yeah, I want I, I want to buy that, but uh, I, I want to make sure maybe we can find that for free. We got like three chances, three chances to do something cool. No oh, raid. Village is being raided. 122 raiders. Maybe we should finally get a military up. Coal mines running low. We'll worry about that later. We got a raid to deal with. 
Oh, we could upgrade this to a actual fortress next. Let's do a full recruitment. I don't think these are going to be nice raiders either. They're coming in for the kill. We are under attack. Who the hell is that? Bro, this is a guy attacking without a weapon. Wait, does he have a pickaxe? What the hell? Oh, is that a crossbow? What is that? That's got to be a pickaxe. This dude doesn't have anything. Also, who the hell has a facial hair at 16 like that? Okay, well, he did. I think a bunch of pe people uh, got recruited, but without weapons. They ran to the barracks, but they should be ran running to where the weapons are. Our dude's actually holding his own. See, look at that. Those towers just turn him right around, right away. Also, we do have a perk in that makes our towers do more damage, so... Make sure that doesn't happen again. We're now going to be more resistant to raids. So we can get these over and done with. At this point, raids are more just inconvenient. It's like, oh, the raiders are here again. All right, everybody. we got to be closed until tomorrow. For its production. All right, here they go again. They want to kill that lady on that wagon. I don't know why they get so distracted by that. They love going for the uh, the Wainwrights all the time. Alright, some of our people have swords now, so they do have weapons to fight. But they don't have much armor. Wow. It's probably the, the worst raid for the amount of deaths ever that we've had, but I think that's mostly because of the, uh, the troops that we had. They're dying in combat. But, as they're dying in combat, the enemy is getting shot at by towers and things like that. So they're doing a good job of distracting them. Ooh, 12... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe we're going to run that one back. I don't want 18 extendo streams. We're going to run that back. I don't want that many deaths. Recovering is going to take too long. Maybe we, uh, we'll rely on those towers instead. The military needs a little bit more equipment before we send them out. Just a little bit. We need armor, shields, heavy weapons. Possibly uh, assault rifles. Burn, 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 burn. All right, there we go. Okay. So if we hire these people now, I think it's still going to be too late, even before the raid. So we'll just go without the military this time.
That was a little, little, little too much damage, but mostly because we assigned 12 people to be soldiers and they all got wiped out. So we need to get uh, armor working now for our people. Where do we make armor? Oh yeah, I guess we need to make the armor for the tier one. Yeah, we don't build walls because walls are just easily... So the enemy brought like three or four battering ramps. So if we built a wall, they would just punch right through it and we would have the same problem anyway. So it's like... Do you want to fight them on the streets, or do you want to have a wall, have them punch through, and then fight them on the streets? So the wall, all the resources that we could pump into the wall, we could just put into production and other things. So typically this is a way just to maintain. Nice, bear dead. Hey, what's up, Rod? Thanks for the 13 months. Congratulations. Happy Christmas Eve, chat and raptor. Same to you. And then Christmas Day and a new year. And the, the next couple of days are weird. Between Christmas and New Year's, it's all... I don't know. It's just a lot of chilling. Which is fine. Alright, let's get raided. Big raids coming in. Probably build some more towers soon. Actually... Uh, in retrospect, it would be good to put those troops in there for uh, crossbows because they'll stay inside that building. So now that I think of it, maybe we can get troops in there and this becomes like a super tower. That building, with the upgrade of better... Uh, crossbows and stuff like that and bonuses will make that very powerful. Let's hope it works out. Yeah, the barracks upgrade is really good. The fort building is very nice. Where are they coming from? Oh, the left. Oh, this is going to be a, a ransom raid this time. That's interesting. So last time they just came right in and, and, and attacked. This time it's going to be a, a ransom raid. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's different. I, I wonder what determines that. Or what makes that different? They want 2478. Well. Yeah, it's the IRS. That's right. And how many raiders are there in that? 105. Less and also just a ransom raid. I wonder if that's randomized or how that actually works. Anyway, I'm going to put the fortress up on the hill. And maybe we'll tell them to beat it. And we'll see what we can do. ransom if they give you a year to do it. Well, yeah. They still want money. That's interesting. That's a much different scenario than I was expecting. Maybe it's because we hired troops and then they were like, okay, they're a little more defended than we thought. I feel like they maybe sometimes do this when they have a not as much of a chance to win. So they're like, uh, well, we want to invade, but we kind of value our lives. Then again, other times they've done, they've they've attacked them many dumb, many dumb ways. 
There's our bricks now. Big money masook still not still not buying those heavy weapons and still doesn't have spice. Damn, dude. Well, let's keep holding on to money so we can do a big purchase of spice at some point. Oh, four children grown up. Excellent. Yeah, they're just mad that we found like three relics over here. And we're starting to mine those out. As villagers grow up, do you need to build more housing? Um, if they start families, yeah. Then you get three or four people. You know, you get a family of two, then have two children or one children. I want to try to get uh, planks here and upgrade our fortress. We'll get that moved and then we'll try to upgrade it. We're going to let them invade, but we'll wait till the last second and see if we can resist. How the towers up here do? Oh, good. We'll stop those damn bears. Good there. Old age deaths. Yeah, 50 years in, it makes sense. Love the streams. Well, thank you, Carlson. Thank you. Okay, any more stuff for Big Money Masuk? Uh, I'm still waiting on the cheese. Those planks are being gobbled up by the uh, furniture store as well. Maybe we'll build a wall around this fortress for now. They can pretty fairly easily get through those walls, though. See what happens. Is this your favorite game to watch? Well, good. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it.
should prioritize that construction. Let's see what we got for excavation, 55%. Okay, we're going to not prioritize those anymore. Come back to these later. Or do it over time. A little more important now is the uh, defense. Another house is upgrading. I'm going to turn off the furniture factory so we can save more planks, and houses were automatically upgrading again. But that's okay, we still have nine months. A long time to make planks. Alright, here we go. The big, the big O defensive construction begins. We'll see what we can do. Blueberry bushes. Yeah, we're going to be hiding in the blueberry bushes. That's right. Hide in every bush. All right, troops will be coming over here now. I'm going to finish that defensive wall. They're going to get through that pretty easily. But they've only got one uh, battering ram. So they might destroy the wall and damage the building, but I think the battering ram will be killed by then. We'll see. money do we need for that upgrade? 800, okay. Uh, let's do 700. Cool. Uh, does it get exhausting streaming so often? Um, well, yeah. That's why I take breaks in between. A any job, anything can get task or whatever you do gets exhausting. That's why you take breaks and Shift and do other things. Always something to do. Blue smoke from the houses. Yeah, it's like a... It looks blue. It's, it's like white smoke from firewood. Which is interesting because industries that use coal are kind of more of a darker color. Although the... I think the... Uh, the pottery thing doesn't really need that. I think it uses firewood. No, nope, I'm not playing with any mods yet. I do want to play with mods, and I think it'll be like after release. Find out what's there. Oh, we got uh, tons of planks being used over here at the barn. I didn't realize we were still building that. Number one game you played? Probably World in Conflict. I feature it every couple years on the channel. I do a full playthrough of it, and I just feel nostalgic for the like 2000... I don't know, like six, seven, eight, when the game was dropping, it was a great time. Yeah, I got plans for Christmas. I'll be doing stuff tomorrow night and midday or afternoon on uh, is it Monday. Monday, yeah, Sunday, Monday, tomorrow Sunday. Is Broken Arrow actually going to be released? Yeah, at some point. They put in a tremendous amount of effort into that game. They're doing a really good job with it. So, Okay, we got 10, 15. Oh, and another 74. Oh, my God. We need more planks, baby. Maybe what we'll do is we'll make another sawmill.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the farmers at the end of autumn. And they'll go into labor. We need an emergency um, labor pool here. Okay. Let's see if we can get a bunch of trees cut down, logs, other things like that, things built. Go right into construction. Uh, will we play Scorn in the channel? Steam is advertising me that the game every time I open it. Uh, Scorn is on the channel, yeah. Scorn playthroughs on the channel. Oh, all these upgrades now. That's right, we'll be making more planks. We just gotta finish that sawmill. Also, when we upgrade that fort, that uh, barracks, it'll um, have an increased range. So that's good. Things are good there. Now, I haven't seen a raider camp yet in this playthrough. They should be in this update, and I have seen them before on other maps that we were kind of rolling through, but I haven't seen them yet here. Yeah, this seems like it'll release sometime mid next year. Maybe August will be the full release. We'll see. I don't have time to upgrade. We just gotta go. Somebody got drunk and was going on a rampage there on the streets. Saving game. Santa for this year? Uh, 10,000 members so we can get some more damn emotes unlocked. <laughs> I want more. Uh, we have a lot of great emotes, but we have to like constantly sh shift them out. And so YouTube's like, oh, you want one more emote? Do we need 10,000 new members? It's like, wow. We have a second sawmill now. Looks like a lot of those upgrades are getting complete there. What are we doing on clothing? Yep, we're good.
Man, upgrading that barn. Good job. And 25. 35. And 20, 30, 40. 45. And then another 70, damn. Can you do a wall prioritization? Yes. Japan, soon. Soon. It's gonna be nice to build all those walls. We gotta upgrade though. Gotta upgrade our HQ. Well, the barracks. Oh, now we're short on bricks. That's okay. So long as we do it right at the end. Looks like bricks aren't being used anymore, so that's good. firewood a little bit. Logs are fine. They're coming down to the planks now. Looks like they delivered a ton of stuff to the wall, but... Oh, there they go. I think, I think they're finally building it. They brought all this stone to the wall and then they didn't construct it. It's very strange. I don't know if they're afraid of this army here. It's kind of weird, they're not... They're not like... They kind of got scared and like abandoned everything and then ran away. Yeah, it says... It says retreating there. So whenever they try to build this wall, they see that enemy army and then they retreat as if they're attacking, but they're just standing there. So they're not necessarily attacking, they're just kind of... They're just standing around. Hmm. Your brother and wife are going to uh, Japan next year, staying in a small... Ooh, small villages that they travel. Ooh. A little jealous, that... Ah, Japan's wonderful, though. The onsens, the... Oh, just... Every building you pass, every little car you see, every street corner, mailbox. It's amazing how it's just, like, completely different. Like, oh, dude, Japan just copied the rest... It's just a reskin. Japan is like the rest of the world, but they just reskinned everything. It's just a reskin. They changed the map around a little bit, but, dude, they have roads and buses and telephone poles and bridges. 
and uh, industry and money. Dude, carbon copy of Earth. Alright, this is weird. I guess this plan didn't go according to plan because the AI thinks that those guys are like attacking. I don't want to go through all that time again. Ramen Ninja would be a great channel name. I just dress up as a ninja and go around Japan eating ramen. What's this channel about? Dude, this guy, he dresses up as a ninja, uh-huh, and he goes around Japan, right, eating ramen. Dude, instant sub. Okay, I should have turned off the automatic upgrade. I think what'll happen is someone will just come up and will like want to trade with us and that'll be fine. Like someone will bring planks. It'll probably be Scorv again though, he comes in early. So I guess this is like a natural protection around the army so that way you can't, you can't really build, you could probably build a wall around them but you gotta be real far away otherwise your people will get scared. All I wanted to do is like build a wall there. I think our people are continuously bringing stone to that construction site and then running away. I don't think we're going to have enough time to even upgrade this thing to the tier 2. Strikes can cause fires. Alright, first trader is coming in. Ah. The Iron Clan. She'll buy hides, candles, clothing. I'll buy a little bit of stone. What happens if you attack first? I don't know if we can. I feel like the enemy's just kind of immune. Let's buy 50. Send in the bears, no joke. The bears have defended our city before, although they're much more of a nuisance to us. They have destroyed multiple battering rams in the past, so... It's like... The, the bears kind of have this thing where it's like, hey man, uh, only we get to mess with them. 
And if you got a problem with that, we're going to attack you. Oh, and look, and look at this, too. Some of our sawmill employees can't work because they see the army and they retreat, too. So people will go to work and then just, like, run away. So even our sawmills are working at, like, reduced capacity. Now, we could easily, um, you know, just pay these guys off. But let's, uh, let's save and explore our options. In-game bears can't hurt us. Oh, I wish that were true. I do, I do, I do. what's happening too is that we are cutting wood but then the people who are producing it just kind of drop it and run away but I don't see it actually sitting there. Well, well, we are getting some. So at this point even if we had the wood we needed I don't think it, a month is enough time to upgrade that. Yeah improvements, uh, improvements to this game are abundant and the performance has improved as well. A lot. All right, so we're purposely going to get attacked. Enemy army will invade. Gorb is here. He doesn't trade uh, in planks. them invade. Go ahead and upgrade everything, that's fine. Oh, we're going to need a lot of planks. When we can, we're going to buy a ton. Oh, here they come. Let's also sound the alarm. Pulling a lot of that army over here, that's cool.
Yeah, this is an invading army, maybe from another village. We don't get to do that yet in this game. I, I don't know if it'll ever be a thing, but... Oh, boy. Bum, bum. The worst part was that battering ram, though. That did a good amount of damage to that barracks. Good that we were built. So, if our troops were able to deliver the stone. To that wall and not run away or our, our citizens there I think there would have been much more of a chance for that barracks to continue to harass the enemy and lure them over but unfortunately there seems to be a fear mechanic within range of the uh, enemy all right let's reload that one I wonder if we can should we go all the way back no nah, I don't know that's fine we'll pay them off instead Kind of annoying, but uh, I think we could have uh, defended against them if we could have finished that defensive wall and upgraded the barracks too to the next tier. So the barracks would have had much more health, much more range, and the wall would have been an added layer of defense, and those are a few things that we couldn't have. Not to mention all those houses were doing upgrades too. I should have turned that off as well. But it was just scaling every time that we would uh, try to get enough wood for that. But we will need a, another saw pit no matter what, though. Oh, this is right at the start of the raid? Oh. Wait. Are they elite? Oh. Oh, they moved even closer to the fort. Wonderful. How the hell did they do that? weird. Anyway, let's transfer 3,000 to the city. Get these guys out of here. They're cutting production. Get out of here. Wow, we're actually attacking them. We paid some of them off and killed some of them. Nice. A little revenge. Some of them decided to raid regardless. Interesting. Interesting how things get done. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how the raids are, like, programmed. Like, how many troops come, how often they arrive. Um, what, like, what their army consists of. I'm not sure. Your relic excavation site is under attack. That's what triggers them too. We have uh, relic sites that we're extracting, and that might make them come over here too. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, yep. So I think with the upgraded barracks and the um, and a wall, we would have been able to defeat them pretty easily. And look, now the army's gone, and the wall's pretty much done. Annoying. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Three 
Three people graduated, nice. Yeah, look at that. Now we got some defense here. Well, nice thing is, is it's next to this road. So if they choose to come down the farm, we got them. And if they choose to come from over there, we got them. Then we'll build another barracks down here. That seems to be where they're coming from the most. Is the southeast and the north, both west and east. But they got this giant lake to get around, so it's kind of a natural deterrent. Good, but at least we had like kind of a ransom payoff, so we didn't get massive amounts of debt, which really is a slowdown. No death. Prohibited. All right, keep excavating. Furniture workshop back on. Oh. Oh, do I have to manually re enable that? All right, well, you know, a little, little tax to pay. It was like paying the IRS or something like that. So we'll get more upgrades done. That'll just mean more taxes for us. Our money went from like 100 down to 43 because now we got all these troops. So you can see how expensive an army is. I mean, it took more than half of our monthly income. Not good. And imagine if we didn't have that relic either. We would be in the negative. So we'd have to be making... Um, we'd have to be smelting gold, which makes more people. We would need more people. Short on heavy tools again. All right, let's upgrade the sawmill. We need way more planks. What's up, Indrid? Uh, well, we can build up to almost 500. Well, it'll be over 500 population once we get the... Um, the house is upgraded. Hey, what's up, Renegade? How you doing?
Yeah. Houses are looking good. We gotta buy uh, planks as soon as we can. I don't think anyone will be coming over this year, though. For that. Nah. All that stone sitting around, man. Well, at least the industry is defended. Maybe what we'll do eventually is move a lot of these buildings from here and build a barracks next door. So when the enemy does attack all of our critical uh, money storage and whatnot, we'll be good. A Santa hat. It's a good idea. We do have a Santa hat emote. Mm hmm. Yeah, we gotta up those plank numbers. These are rookie numbers. Yep, we have a vault built. We do. expand the city down here. Santa hat emote. that firewood. Yeah, we've slowed down production a bit. Good idea to have more than we need for a blizzard, which could happen. We're getting way more heat waves, though, which is weird. I think that'd be more prominent on the um, arid map. That's heavy tools right there. Gold. What would be needed to upgrade the trading post? Oh, that's maximum. But uh, I think to upgrade it, you need planks and maybe stones and bricks too when you first upgrade it. I can't remember. But it's, it's full upgrade. All right, cool. 
so now we'll be able to make more planks. That's good. Hey, Tan. When you win this game, what does it do? Now oh, there's no winning. It's like City Skylines or Anno. I mean, I guess Anno does have a win condition, but uh, it's mostly about building a city till you get bored. Which is a lot of those... Um, which is a lot of those games. B building efficient systems and doing things until you kind of either hit a wall or just don't want to do it. Hey, eight more people. Let's go. Come on in. Eight people have joined. They clicked and tapped the join button. Now they're part of the uh, the city. Good. So we're still having a plank shortage, but a lot of those businesses are getting done. I guess the barn, too. Is that on pause? Yeah. All right, that's what we'll do. Keep upgrading. Turn those guys to just regular labor. We got other stuff to do. Military is good, but you know, another time. And Rod with the five gifted memberships for chat. Thank you very much for gifting five memberships to everybody in the chat. Exclamation point gift if you want to be able to claim those in the future, everybody. Gift bomb buses. Let's go. All right, we're well, gonna have to do another coal mine soon. There was a coal mine over here. Ooh, seven thousand. That ain't going to make those folks happy. But that's kind of too much to ignore. Well, I could build it over there, and it could still pull from that coal vein. Hmm. Ah, so the circle just needs to touch that, huh? Okay. Alright, we'll prepare another coal mine. Wow, I can't believe the amount of planks we went through. Yeah, we gotta get coal for <laughs> for all the stockings for chat, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. 
Now we're making... Yeah, look at that. Now our money's back up to 119. The army's just incredibly expensive. coal there too. Oh, only 400? Yeah. That's not even worth getting. Oh, that that's because that's what's left from here. Okay. Then that's alright. Yeah, the winter in this game looks outstanding. It's pretty good too in Ostrave and City Skyline's got a little, little work to do on that one. But I'm hopeful. All right, good. More upgrades done. That means more tax dollars for us. Nice. Happy holidays to you too, Jackson. Thank you. Damn, some interesting raids this year. Another upgrade over there. Wow, it's crazy. We have low resources because everything's just kind of upgrading. Things are... It seems bad that we don't have these things like they're not getting done, but they are getting done. The moment they're finished, they just go right to the construction site. Which is good. So we're going to get more cows to feed more people. That means we're going to have to build another uh, cheese maker, too. Um... And population can go all, all the way up to 500 now. Pretty well. Yeah. Af after a few of these homes are upgraded, no doubt, we're almost there. 500, the big, the big 500, the big. Love it. at 64. Hey, what's up, Jonathan? Welcome. Oh, they're clearing all the trees down here, too. Nice. Only at ten planks. Well, I guess they're working on delivering the logs to the sawmill. But they're getting there. They're getting there. It's all good. I uh, just got an email from Steam recommending me games on this on sale for the Steam Winter Sale. Oh yeah. They think I'd be interested in Bannerlord. Oh, you might be. Yeah. Bannerlord's kind of cool. Top down and then like third person combat with like a little 
You're building your own empire. One ring to rule them all. You know, good things. Smiley. Merry Christmas to you too, Cosmic Apple. You know, actually, um, speaking of Cosmic, I heard McDonald's is starting a new restaurant called Cosmic, and it just serves, like, fancy drinks. Like, just a bunch of mixed high fructose corn syrup BS that says multicolored flavor. There, there's no, like, there's no food there, it seems. Just, just drinks. <laughs> I don't know. Seems kind of weird to just go pick up a drink from a McDonald's that only serves drinks. And it's all like soda, not like, um, I mean, I didn't really see any coffee or anything there. Food is so 2023, I know. Photosynthesis 2024, that's where it is. Yeah, Cosmix is real. It's in, like, Illinois, I think. They're doing a little... Uh, what would you call it? Flagship test restaurant, that kind of thing. But it's just like, eh. Yeah, if they had ice cream there. Yeah, I don't know. I, well, it's just like, oh, dr our drinks are selling really well. Let's also sell ice cream. People seem to be more hungry. Let's sell burgers and fries. Next thing you know, it's just McDonald's again. It's like, what the hell? It's just a, it's just a weird move to like sell less products to your customers. I, this is weird. Like, is there really a market in fast food, like, brick and mortar, hey, come pick up just a drink? <laughs> like, I know that works for coffee, but that's kind of a different thing. I mean, they already have Mick. It would make sense if they made, like, Mick Cafe things separate. But then, you know, why do it separate? You just sell everything at one store. In the morning, people will come get coffee and other things like that. Midday to the end of the day, you get people buying food. More. Coffee all day. All right, who's our traders going to be? we got to get some trades in here. And we're totally fine money-wise, too. We're like, we've snapped back cash-wise. Keeping around 3000 bucks is pretty good. Liquid McFlurry, yeah. Man, more houses. It's, it's interesting, like, a house will upgrade, and then I feel like it affects the house next to it. But I think what really is happening is that they're getting the last of their needs, which are food. Also, we gotta, hopefully this year, Big Money Masook shows up with spice, because, man, we can buy a bunch of spice, and everyone will buy it, and it's such a big boost to the economy, it's crazy. Then we can use that to buy other things. Can we upgrade the theater, maybe? Wow, that is expensive as hell. 3000 upgrade the theater? Jeez. What are we, like, literally building it out of gold? And tear it down and just make a huge ingot and then mine into it? Bum, 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 bum. 
No, he's only buying planks. We might have to only buy planks. I mean, uh, make them. Buy some more bricks. Need a big old stack of bricks. I think we should upgrade the theater next. Um, although we don't need to. But I'm hoping that it just further increases the reach of the theater. But we could build some homes here then. And they might have better desirability. Oh, that ho home is happy now. Tier 2 barns just got 46 planks remaining. That, that takes an incredible amount of logs. Oh, well, planks. That's crazy. Crazy. All the McDonald's around here are closing. No one's buying anymore. Yeah, you know, when you're unhealthy fast food, yet you're <laughs> charging as much as a grocery store trip, you may as well just go buy your own uh, potatoes. Potato. Potato. Okay, who's going to be our trader? Our next one. Next trader. Won't you be my trader? Oh, ho, ho. I think the bear broke. Wait, what? No, wait, what? Is the brewery being attacked by a bear? Oh, it is. Yep, right there. I couldn't see him. He's hiding in the barrel. There he is. All right. Go home, bear. You're drunk. We have cocaine bear, and now twice a bear has attacked our brewery. All right, now we got to build a defense here. Oh, he, of course, he stole the honey. <laughs> he was waiting till he got the honey. He didn't want anything to do with the beer. Boozy the bear. Bum, bum. Ah, big money masook. Now big money brings the spice. Good. We'll sell you 15 swords. Oh, and he's got the heavy tools. Nice. Wiping out the masoup. But we're going to buy spice back. So let's buy... Pretty 
pretty good price. Buy all of it. All right, now with the uh, amount of um, spice that we're going to have at the stores, people are going to go crazy. And that'll help with happiness, too. When's the Planet Zoo Bear Park coming? I don't know. Uh, soon. TBD. a sneaky bear that one yep all right well it looks like more of the home upgrades are getting done only a thousand for nah never mind I'll keep those for us We got all this extra cheese. I think I'll keep that too. Uh, food's still in the kind of the eh range, but maybe the spice will help. They just gotta go buy it. To which they are. Excellent. Spices are being purchased. Good. Let's try to transfer all of our money. We'll try to buy the rest of that. Oh, we went from 60-something to 31, so we should buy more. Needs to last a few years. Good. big money give me some more spice spice up their lives yep we definitely want the spice to last a few years that house is out of the area, but that's fine. Oh, I guess if we build up here, we're going to have to build another market. So we'll push the fishing things a little further away. All right, so before we do anything major next, now we just got to wait for all these upgrades to complete. I mean, a lot of stuff was being upgraded all at once suddenly, which is good. We have uh, homes for like 60 more people. Those homes will pay more in taxes. We went from, what, 70-something now to 201? Taxes from the market square now at 140 plus a luxury tax of 190. So, yep, that's uh, spices gold. And it must flow. Let's make sure we buy more of that. By one. Good. Knights of Honor graphics. Is that what this looks like? That sounds like a cool game. The 
cobbler. Both people at the cobbler's died. Old age, I suppose. That's a that was an old business. I was been there a long time. Chat, we have a very interesting city builder coming up in a little bit, and I think I want to play it tomorrow too, called New Cycle. I know many of you have seen it, but if you like this game, Farthest Frontier, and Banished, and Frostpunk, and maybe a little bit of End Zone, A World Apart, that game combines all three or four or more into a, a really cool survival game, which it, it does allow you to build a lot more free than in this game. This, of course, is grid-based, but you can build roads that are at angles with curves and such, and, you know, lo looks nice. But that game allows you to do even more free setup and has a very interesting story. So we'll be taking a look at that in just a little bit, which I'm excited for. If you want more Farthest Frontier, though, especially before the end of the year, if you can hear the sound of my voice and if you're watching live, make sure you hit that like button and let me know you'd like to see more. Vote now for democracy. Democracy is standing by. Yeah, I miss chatting with uh, David Haroldson, yeah. I haven't been able to do it yet in the game, but uh, there will come a point. Although I think that's um I think that's a sandbox feature in the campaign mode that I'm playing. I think it's all kind of scripted campaign, so it makes sense. But we'll probably start a sandbox playthrough too at the same time. We'll do some more episodes on that. That'll be fun. All right, today we survived mul we fought off a raid. We survived another one by just kind of buying the raiders out. And we kind of got shafted with the whole planning of building a fort here. And then the enemy kind of just stood there while we were trying to build it, which prevented us from doing it and slowed down our uh, wood plank production. But regardless of that, it looks like most of the buildings have upgraded. And a few more of them remain from Tier 4. So all these homes here are upgrading to Tier 4, which is going to pay us a hell of a lot more money. And they're also buying spice. So as all those Tier 3 buildings go to Tier 4... The real evil plan here is to, uh, well, they're going to have a new requirement, which is spice. And that's what we're going to buy from uh, Big Money Masook every time that he stops in with spice, which is pretty good. So if we look at our resources, we have, yeah, 48 more. So we'll try to keep buying those each year. Houses seem to only buy one at a time, but those will last for a while. And uh, will be purchased again. And with multiple houses upgrading, uh, quite a few. One, two, three, four or more. And then over here, too. We got a lot. We got a lot of big plans. Yes, the spice must flow. That's right. Oh, and another house there too. Jeez, everywhere. And then we have multiple bear attacks at the brewery. Like, <laughs> what the hell? I got to build a security tower down here to stop the bears from getting in. I guess they've been. The bears got smart. They're not going to these towers anymore and attacking from up here. They're like infiltrating through the the bottom of the uh, the area there. So we'll build a wall and stuff around that too. Um, it looks like we got some more stuff to sell and maybe buy. Big Money hasn't even purchased any of those heavy weapons, but soon. Let's see, anything else we should buy? Hmm, I think we'll just kind of hold on to our money for the next couple of years. Very nice. The spice must flow. All right, cool. And so must that new juicy content. So as I mentioned, we're going to be dropping a video now for New Cycle, our first look at a early access full release version. Like the game will be releasing into early access, but it's no longer a demo, no longer a prologue. So people will be asking in that YouTube premiere. So you let them know that we're taking our first look at the campaign and I'll send you there right now as we continue on with our city builders. And if you want to see more of this game or New Cycle tomorrow, make sure you smash that like button and let me know you'd like to see more. I think we'll do some more pop-ups, too, for everybody, because so many people forget to hit that like button, and I, th I think you guys are liking what you're seeing. And we got to get those rookie numbers up, so I'll pop up some more reminders, and we'll do more mandatory reminders. Get you locked in. All right, enjoy the new content going live right now. You guys will be live redirected, but probably not. Most of you will be redirected to other videos from YouTube, so click that link. Otherwise, you'll miss out, miss out at your first look at News Cycle. See you soon.